choose you, Ludicolo. Hi, my name is Professor Silver, and you're watching Pokemon Explained, where we focus on the narrative arcs of all our favorite characters from the Pokemon anime. In today's class, we'll break down the complete history of Brock's Ludicolo, detailing all its battles, storylines, and character development. Brock met Ludicolo as a Lotad after accidentally trespassing on its lake territory in the Lotad Lowdown. Though Lotad's friends initially seemed hostile, Brock quickly discovered their friendly nature and took a special interest in Lotad after seeing its struggle with Water Gun. Unlike its friends, Lotad needed special help as it had difficulty following directions. Upon discovering Lotad and its friends watered a local garden for berries, Brock earned Lotad's affection by showing it ample patience, helpful instruction, and positive reinforcement. When Team Rocket kidnapped Lotad's friends, Lotad followed Brock's influence and teamed with Pikachu to free them. Having saved the day, Lotad asked to join Brock's team as it had become enamored with him. Brock happily accepted and developed a father-like relationship with Lotad. Even though Lotad's cluelessness, lack of foresight, and pitiful water guns sometimes embarrassed Brock, he cared deeply for it and never let it feel lesser than other more intelligent Pokemon. You can do anything if you just try it! Brock so believed in Lotad's potential that he used it to fight Team Rocket, assist Ash in his training, and battle a Sharpedo in Sharpedo Attack. Whilst battling Sharpedo, Lotad briefly forgot Water Gun and almost ended up his shark food, but still delivered powerful blasts before discovering Sharpedo was sick with poison. Brock's compassion amazed Lotad and gave it the courage it needed to save the brutal Pokemon when Team Rocket tried to steal it. Lotad also proved a useful ally to Brock by helping him climb waterfalls and rescue baby Mudkip in a Mudkip mission. Following Brock's capture of Mudkip, Lotad formed a special, brotherly relationship with its fellow water type. Much like Brock, Mudkip looked out for Lotad and made sure its intelligence never held it back. Lotad and Mudkip went on rescue missions together, attacked a mecha, and competed against Brock at a carnival. Mudkip proved such a bro that it even found the well where Lotad evolved into Lombre and take the Lombre home. Soon after its evolution, Lombre got mistaken for a village's legendary Lombre Waterlord. The villagers hoped for Lombre to end a drought they blamed on a wild soul rock. Even though Team Rocket was the true culprit, Lombre ended the drought anyway by dancing, befriending Solrock, and dousing its flames with Water Gun to produce rain clouds. Evolution supercharged Lombre's brain power, but did little to change its friendship with Mudkip. Together, the two produced dual water guns, extinguished fires, thwarted Team Rocket, powered speedboats, and fought in practice battles. While fighting Corfish and Swellow in Judgment Day, Lombre protected Mudkip, got struck by Aerial Ace, played dead, hit Swellow with Razor Leaf, and struck Corfish with Water Gun. Beyond palling around with Mudkip, Lombre also entertained the masses, served as a medicine cabinet, and helped Brock get swole. Lombre loved Brock without question, but its love of relaxation often got the best of it. Examples include ignoring Brock's orders to search for a Spoink's Lost Pearl, and failing to take its training with Ash's Torkoal seriously in Once in a Ma while. During the battle, Lombre Matrix dodged several attacks, landed Water Gun, and hit Torkoal with Razor Leaf but got blasted into a nearby forest where a lovestruck Mawile discovered it. Brock encouraged Lombre to reciprocate Mawile's affection so he could pursue its ribbon-dancing trainer Samantha, but Lombre was having none of it. Despite a lack of romantic interest, Lombre heroically defended Mawile from Jesse's Seviper when Team Rocket tried to steal it. Much to Corfish's dismay, Lombre's indifference made Mawile want it all the more. When Team Rocket made a second pass at Mawile, they mistakenly stole Lombre instead. While awaiting rescue, Lombre stayed calm and practiced its comedy with Wobbuffet. When the gang came to its rescue, Lombre got revenge on its kidnappers by working with Mawile and Pikachu to devastate Dustox and Cacnea. With Team Rocket vanquished, Lombre attended Mawile's dance recital, rudely rifled through Samantha's bag, touched her waterstone, and evolved into a Ludicolo. Immediately upon evolving, the festive music from Samantha and Mawile's performance filled Ludicolo's muscles with energy, causing it to break out and dance. Not only did evolution make Ludicolo dynamic, outgoing, and friendly, but it also stirred within its heart a love for Mawile. Unfortunately, Mawile rejected its love, as it only liked clueless Pokémon who played hard to get. Despite a brief heartbreak, Ludicolo quickly bounced back, unveiled its newly learned Bullet Seed, and danced its worries away with Brock. Much like its previous forms, Ludicolo proved a tremendous help to Brock during his Hoenn journey. It blasted Team Rocket, stopped a river from flooding Riado Town, protected an injured Ralts, taste tested May's poisonous berries, and helped prepare an airplane. After the Hoenn League concluded, Brock returned home and left Ludicolo with his family as his siblings loved its joyous personality. Brock tried to visit Ludicolo while traveling through the battle frontier in grading spaces, 
but his parents fell for one of Team Rocket's scam vacations and took Ludicolo with them to the airport as their luggage-carrying manservant. When the three of them returned home, Ludicolo begged Brock's forgiveness, even though it had done no wrong, likely because it saw Brock as a benevolent father. Since Ludicolo's last appearance, it's likely reunited with Marshtomp and permanently rejoined Brock's team as he studies to become a Pokemon doctor. Ludicolo won against James's Cacnea and Jesse's Dustox. Over the course of the series, Ludicolo used Water Gun, Razor Leaf, and Bullet Seed. Ludicolo's progression from dullard to trustworthy ally is arguably Brock's greatest accomplishment as a Pokemon breeder. No matter how much grief Ludicolo gave Brock, he always stood by its side, provided it positive encouragement, and showered it with compassion. Ludicolo may be totally unsuited for the pewter gym, and may not have the brains to pass medical school, but it could easily provide comic relief to Brock's patients and make him the Patch Adams of the Pokemon world. And with that, class is adjourned. I'll be back next week to cover a different character from the anime. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're never late to class. And for extra credit, like this video and let me know your thoughts on Brock's Ludicolo. Until next time, catch you later.